perfect moment. Something legendary. A thought that all of us regular think. Something that we will remember for the rest of our life. Our favorite people who do not have problems at all and just have fun with us. A magical and dream place like, I don't know, Miami, Hollywood, London. So in general, we are with the right people in the right place. Well, I have a statement to say. A perfect moment is not something planned or predetermined. It is not something that you have talked about so many times with these specific people about arranging the time of the exit or what are you going to wear or what are you going to eat. To me, it's clear that the perfect moment is not hidden in the unique place, in the magical hour, the special people. The perfect moment is not something created or planned. It just happens. After you have forgotten completely all your everyday problems and you have truly enjoyed the moment in which you have just lived with every little piece of yourself, this moment is no longer a dream. It becomes true. All of us may have wondered, is it so difficult to live the perfect moment? What made me understand not only that the perfect moment is not difficult to happen, but also how many benefits we gain and how these moments can make ourselves really beautiful is a true moment under the falling stars. A summer night in my isolated village, my family and I did the classic but favorite activity. We were playing cards. As we were playing, some of us saw stars falling. After that, we remembered that it was falling stars night so we immediately finish our game. We walk without the fear of snakes or spiders and other insects. During our silent observation of magical falling stars, spontaneously, at the same time, all the members of the family together started shouting a name of our family members while the star was falling. So it was like the family together dedicated this star to this specific person, like naming it star after one of us. I really, I really felt excited with this experience because it was the first time I truly lived with every little piece of myself and at the same time, without doing something exquisite, this night became one of the best of my life. Having this feeling is just perfect because when you're in a bad mood, when you have a lot of problems that you should face, by remembering a happy and special moment of your life, you become happy immediately. Happiness is the purpose and aim of life, the whole aim and end of human existence. Happiness depends upon ourselves, as Aristotle said. Aristotle said that such an important emotion like happiness cannot only exist in one level, Aristotle discovered four different levels of happiness. The first level of happiness comes from immediate gratification, based on things. People focusing exclusively on level one, it is very likely to hit crisis, where life seems shallow and without meaning. In other words, there is a limit to the pleasure you get from a nice meal, a holiday, or a new car if this is the only source of happiness. This kind of happiness can be intense, but shortly. Happiness level 2, ego gratification. Happiness comes from comparison, by feeling better or more admired than others. Everyone likes admiration to some extent, but people's happiness varies a lot regarding from how strong their competitive nature is. For some, it's everything. For others, it's just a very minor and very short lived pleasure. Happiness level 3. The happiness of doing good for others and making the world a better place. This, this kind of happiness is based on the human desire 
for connection, compassion, friendship, goodness, and unity. Someone has summed it up simply as love. At this level, we move away from ourselves to focus on the well-being of others. The essence of our own happiness depends also on the happiness of others. Le the limits of a level of great happiness can be found on human imperfections. Level 4 happiness. Ultimate happiness. Happiness level 4 is the most difficult to describe. It has to do with fullness and perfection. It has to do about finding the right balance between the other levels and then something more than that. Psychologists have labeled this, this desire for connection as a call from the larger universe. Some fulfill this desire through spirituality, religion, others through philosophy, art, or scientific endeavors. There is no definite answer or a universal answer. You have to find your own calling. As we all understand, happiness is the perfect feeling. And coming back to the perfect moment, you will tell me. Come on, I can't feel all these levels of happiness at once. And I'm responding to you. Yeah, especially nowadays, it's much more difficult than the past. Are you wondering why? Why nowadays it's much more difficult than the past? The majority of people are hooked to technology. That's why. Except from work or projects, which are the other reason we use technology or high-tech application material for. Many gadgets and apps are designed to utilize the basic human need to feel a sense of belonging and connection with others. So a fear of missing out, commonly known as FOMO, is at the head of many social media design. Experiences and memories can provide us this feeling. But because of our distance from the natural world and from our favorite people, we find comfort in technology applications. Technology is not the only way to get away from your everyday problems. Being in front of a screen every day does not make you cool or popular. You just manage to lose your time and have another identical day with others without doing anything new inspiring or unforgettable. On the other hand, if we think about it, our connection with nature is necessary for our physical and psychological well-being. Interacting with nature teaches us to live in relation with other people rather than in domination over the other. We don't control the birds flying overhead, or the moon rising, or the bear walk where it would like to walk. In my appraisal, one of the biggest problems of the world today is that we see ourselves living in domination over the other, rather than in relation with other people and with the natural world. So all of us should stop and think. Experiences and memories are a combination of a lot of things at the same time. So as in the end, have all of our happiness levels and these moments to be happy and genuine too. So, what are you waiting for? Get up and the next time that you realize that you're about to lose control of how much time you spend in front of the screen, say no! Get up and practice something original. Meet your friends, have fun, practice new things, take the risk. Are you going to lose the songs? I live life because tomorrow is not guaranteed to anyone. Be happy in the moment. That's enough. Beautiful moment is knowing. Nothing more than that. Thank you.